The Borzoi comes from Russia. Uh, it's a dog that's been existing for over 200 years. It used to be used to take, you know, like there were the wolves that were really, really preying around the cities there, the small towns. So it was used and bred to exactly go and really put the wolf on the ground and then the owner could go or kill or put down the, the bees because the, the, it was hired for that. They're not killer dogs. They are not to be used. They are, don't have it in them. If you leave the dog to really relax and, and sleep, it's not gonna ask for much more, which is bad because it needs a little bit of exercise. So the walks through town, a lot of people or citizens have dogs like that in town, especially in Paris or Montreal downtown, because they're very easy. They don't tend to run or stuff. Don't let them lose though, because it could get really hyper and oh, I'm running and I'm free. And it forgets it's got an owner, it forgets it's got a, uh, anything. It is a family pet. It's not a guard dog, so don't expect him to go in guard things. So it's nice to live. It's very easy to, to keep the borzoi clean. It's a dog that you can brush once a week. It's a fur that's really silky, but it's not long or you don't have to brush hours. You know, us, we keep it clean because we, we, we go to shows. It's our way of life. But even then, someone who has one at home should only brush it really lightly every, once a week. Do the nails, clean the ears, and have it maybe washed three times a year. Is the female is a little bit more independent than the male. She's more uh, instinctive, which is nice for someone who doesn't want to have a dog all the time with him and, you know, just say, take it easy. The male is really, really nice to live with. The only thing I'd like to really counsel the, the person who really considers a borzoi is like, it's really great. That's all I can say. I've been very surprised about the breed. <laughs>